Hey everybody. All right, I'm back for just a minute because I wanted to share with you what we just did. What I just did and Abra sold. First of all, it was uh that track was an MP3 track that I made from the Sonny Rollins Volume 8. See it right here. Volume 8. Get your Jamie Abersold Play Along series. You can order them directly from this site. Go right to jazzbooks.com for Jamie's wonderful site. But this is the play along uh, for rhythm changes, specifically Olio. Wanted to share a couple of things um, that I did here. First of all, as you can see here, all the B flats can be in fifth position. And I got these nice little arrows here. That's a D actually. Here's a B flat in fifth. This one I played in fifth position. I played a lot of them in fifth. The rule of thumb that I go for for alternate positions is make it as easy as possible. Um, and if I'm heading in one direction anyway, I want to try to catch more notes going that direction without having to shift and come back. So we've got D naturals here in a flat fourth position. You got to tune them. Remember your overtone series. Got to tune that so it's a little bit flat. You have to shade it flat. I mean, um, what else? Yeah, so these arrows are pointing at the various D's and B flats that um, I played in alternate positions. Let's go to the bridge for a minute. The bridge, the B section, what Maynard Ferguson called the release, which I thought was pretty interesting considering tension and release, etc. The bridge, as I've annotated here, can be, uh, you can either play these dominant chords as is, or you can have some fun and add some altered tones. Dizzy Gillespie once said that the flat five is the bebop. That's the note. So flat five, sharp 11, say it either way, it's the bebop. So I try to work in a lot of, as you'll hear, uh, flat nines, sharp nines and flat nines, and then uh, the flat five or sharp 11. Thirteens are cool too. It's all how you play them in a melody, and most importantly, it's how you play them rhythmically. It's got to swing. So anyway, that's the bridge. And the bridge on this tune, this contrafact, is uh, you just have fun blowing on the bridge. There's not a melody. You improvise one. Then we get to the end, and you can see I go right back to the altered positions. I think I started in first position here, and then... Uh, flat four for that D and started catching some B flats in fifth position. So there you have it. And and here you have another view of the incredible Wiest studio. You know, I wanted to move things around, get the feng shui happening, you know? So um, yeah, that's where we are. And this concludes the first overview here in the trombone zone. Uh, we'll have some lessons up here very soon. In the meantime, do what your Uncle Willie says. Always follow what Uncle Willie says because he knows what he's talking about. And uh, beyond that, keep swinging. We'll see you later.